Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back on the tutorial. And in today's video, we have a subscriber request the video. And baseline, we're just gonna do an updated version on how to make this overlay you see on the screen. So listen straight to it. If you wanna have a video feature on this channel, like uh requ requested something that you requested, just email me nfdragon52 at gmail.com and uh, either tweet me on like hit me up on Twitter and I got you with the video. But let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna just take it off and first thing you want to do is go to Photoshop then you want to go to file and open now the social template I'm probably gonna put that in the comment section or the description or maybe both but you just want to go in there and download it so you want to open up the social template and yours gonna look different than mine because I already been using this one so you want to hit T on your keyboard and this is just going to the horizontal type tool then you can just drag the um drag it across like so and type in what you want so I will put name right here type name right here and this is just saying if you want to put name here type name right here and then I will type name right here and it's not hard to use and I actually had people ask me how to use it so that's another reason that I'm making a tutorial on it so I do do that you just um click on the groups and drag them down like this so I'm just I'm not gonna skip anything this tour so you guys can better understand it because I know some people it's more than one person that wanted me to make updated version so yeah all right now that i got this right here next thing i do is go down here go to hue and saturation and then i colorize it now with this part right here you can really pick any color i'm gonna just pick purple after that you can just merge visible but if you don't want to have those purple things in the middle what you can do is just hit Control j on four times and then you want to merge this down on the logos and stuff so it looks something like this merge down on this and make sure you don't merge it just follow what i'm doing and this is how i make my look better merge down on that and then you just want to go on twitter you want to merge down that so like merging down it'll look different but um that's how like you will get it so like say for youtube right here this youtube i already like the color you can just keep it um like this right here for that but just merge visible and that's how you do it so now you can just bring this to the middle like so and i hold shift and you can just hold shift while you drag it to get it centered and once you do that you can go to file up here and then export export as so then you hit export again i'm gonna just name this um i'm gonna just keep default name put some numbers at the end all right once you do this you want to just um open up adobe <laughs> open up adobe after effects and i'll be able to you guys when i do that all right so now you want to go to new composition once you do this you just have uh follow all the settings that i have on my screen and you can put 30 fps because when you do this the files um size will be smaller so that's a new thing that i actually learned by just experiment with it just put that right there and then go to file import and then you want to go to file again like so and then you just want to go open it up import it right here and what you can do is and i don't think i just did was drag it down to this right here so now you can hit Control d and then that would just um duplicate the layer then you want to go to layer below that go to layer then auto trace then you want to go to effects and presets type in saber and you just want to drag this down like so go to render settings transparent customize for layer mask and then you want to go to art reactor at the top for your preset then you can just click on this little color button and sample one of these colors and it'll look like how i make mine after you do that you can just go to file and then you can export and then add to adobe media media encoder queue and i'm gonna show you how to do it through the render queue also because some people actually don't have adobe media encoder queue so i'm gonna let that load up show you my settings and all the good stuff all right so as you can see i have two of these but a lot of things people get wrong is they don't actually know how to load this up correctly so i'm gonna show you guys right here so with this, you want to make sure this is on quick time. Don't have it on nothing else. I think AVI works too, but just, just use quick time. Then for this right here, you want to pick these settings. And if you really can't see it, I'm going to put it in the comment section like I used to. And then to actually render it, you just would just click on the name and you would type it in. So I'll put GGG or something like that. And then hit save and then hit the play button. And you can render it and it will render. The other way you can render it is go to file, export. And then add to render queue this right here when you click on go down here render settings you can pick best settings um 
once you click on this, make sure your resolution full, all the good stuff right there on my screen. Then the output module, come on here, make sure you pick on QuickTime still, and then RGB plus alpha, and then hit OK. Then output to not yet specified, you would just type in, type it in the same way like I did on my other one. I would just put GGG, save, and then it will actually start rendering on its own for that one right there. I think so. Well, no, you would have to click the render button. When you get done, you will hit ding sound. Now, that's basically how you would make the OLED to actually put it in here. You just want to go to um, media source, like so. And you do that by hitting the plus symbol. Then just go to media source. Then you want to loop it. And then you will browse, go get the file. So say if I got an overlay, I'm just you just add like any other overlay. So say if I got this right here, my socials, hit open, okay, and then you bring it in. And that's basically how you do it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And like I said, email me with some video ideas, and I got you.